Okay, good morning, everybody. So what I'd like to do today is to do a little variation. We'll get away from, we're gonna get away from our October challenge, but if you still wanna go ahead and just practice these things, go ahead, get your sheet out, do the burpees, do the sit-ups, do the sumo, uh, do the push-ups for the mountain climbers. But if not, let's take advantage and go outside. And what I'd like you to do is this okay so if you don't have this equipment stop the video go get it and um, i'm going to quickly review each of these things um, so what i'd like you to, to tell you is that if you just want to focus you're going to go outside and practice these you'll go outside and practice jump rope or basketball drills or throwing and catching and i'll review them all right now so first of all pause the video if you need to get the equipment and then come on back and i'll start okay so let's start with jump rope now I'm, as i told you before i'm real compromised in this room because of the height of the ceiling but you can go outside and practice as well so get your jump rope and remember it should be about this height it's going to be dragging on the floor a little bit Okay, the way to, a good way to start is to just go ahead and get the rhythm, okay, like that, and then practice your jumping. Each time you see it coming right about it within your eyes, okay, then you're going to jump. Now, some people do a, a double jump, okay, which is fine. You can either do a single jump or a double jump. A double jump gives you really good rhythm. Okay, so just go out and practice it. I'd really like you to do this actually every day. All these skills would be great to do them every day. You'll really improve dramatically. Okay, so uh, if you want to go outside right now and practice that and come back, and then I'll show you the basketball dribbling, that's fine. <clears throat> if you want to continue, and I'll go through the other two. And then you could take everything outside and practice. Either way is fine. But I want you to go out and practice these skills. So I am not going to bounce these because I have somebody in the house who's still sleeping. And it'll make all kind of noise and wake them up. So go outside. Make sure you have an area where you know, it's on the cement somewhere where the ball's not going to roll into the street. You're not going to run after it. Now remember, when you're going to go ahead and practice, you're going to push the ball down. Okay, you're going to push it down. And when it comes up, you're going to meet the ball and push it down. So we're not going to slap it. We're not slapping, we're pushing. Okay, that's the thing. Now you can see my legs are kind of bent. That's what I want you to do. Bend your legs and get down like that. Now, the other thing you notice is I am looking at you. So ideally, what I want you to do is to See if you can get your head up while you practice. And then you're going to practice with your left hand. Okay? And then you could do switching from right to left, right to left. But the important thing is what? No slapping, pushing. Okay? And see if you can keep it up for a minute, two minutes, or whatever. And you can even, even try this where you close your eyes and see if you can maintain control of the ball. Okay? That would be a great way to practice. Okay, so the last thing I want you to do is, let's just practice some throwing and catching. Okay, so here, I'm gonna go through the fundamentals. You can go outside and don't do this inside. You're gonna go outside and you can't even do it outside unless you have some kind of wall where there's no windows that you're gonna break. And get a ball that's, I have a tennis ball here, something that's soft, a rubber ball will be fine. So here are the mechanics that I want you to go through. And don't delete the video, because if you forget them, you can come back and review them. First of all, don't hold the ball real tight. There should be a little bit of a gap in there. Okay? And you'll notice what I'm doing is I'll hold the ball up right about ear level. Okay? So, and it's away from me right now. Even though at some point it's going to come close to my ear, Right now, it's away from my ear. 
I'm going to stand, if I'm throwing to you or to the wall, I'm going to stand with my side facing you or the wall. And the ball is behind me. Got it? Okay. Now, here's the most critical thing, is if you learn this, you've now learned how to transfer your weight in almost every sport. And that is you lift your forward leg and you slide it. Okay? That, see how it gets my weight transferring to the front? That's exactly what we want to try to do. Okay, so as it comes forward, my hand comes forward. And look what happens to my arm. Even though I'm starting with the ball like this, it'll eventually turn like that. So it starts like this, it turns, and look what happens to my hips. You'll see I start here, you can't see my hips, but as I start to step and turn, I actually get a lot of power from this. So I get power from these big muscles here, pushing like that. I get power from my body going like this. And the last thing I get power from is the throw and the snap of my wrist. Okay, got it? So you're going to have to throw kind of high up on the wall because the ball is going to come back. But if you don't, it'll come back as kind of a ground ball. Okay, if you're throwing to somebody, make sure that the person you're throwing to is holding their hands like this. Kind of thumbs together. You're kind of peekabooing over your thumbs like that, protecting your eyes, protecting your face. Okay, because if you get hit somewhere else, it's not going to hurt. I don't want you to get hit in the face. And the last thing, do not close your eyes because you'll never catch it. So protect your eyes, protect your face, and just throw one after the other. You can't do this enough. Okay, so stop the video. Go outside and practice after, hopefully, you can stay out there five, ten minutes, whatever. And come back, and what we're going to do is we're going to end with a little bit of a, the sun salutation. I want to just continue that. And a little mindful sit. So stop the tape. I'm going to go ahead and continue. And when you come back, continue with the sun salutation, okay? So go ahead. You know what you got to do. And let's continue with the sun salutation as we know it, because I want to get that routine uh, pretty much ingrained in your brain. The other thing I'm going to do today is I want to really focus on how our breath just folds into the movement. So what I'm going to like you to do is to, I'm going to, I'm going to give you the prompts. I want you to focus your awareness on the breathing more so than the movement. Now, if you've been doing this with me, the movement should be coming pretty natural. Okay, now we're going to incorporate the breathing to it. Okay, ready? We'll just do this a couple times. Okay, all right, breathe in as you go up. Breathe out as you go down. Okay, good. Breathe in as you touch your knees. Breathe out as you touch your toes. Breathe in as we... Do the plank, breathe out as we go to the mat. Breathe in as we go up to the cobra, breathe out as we go to the mat. Breathe in, downward facing dog, breathe out as we step up. Breathe in, touch your knees, breathe out, touch your toes. Breathe in as we reach up, breathe out as we come down. Okay, did you get the flow? All right, let's do it again. Breathe in, dive down, breathe out. Breathe in up to your knees, breathe out to your toes. Breathe in, do the plank, breathe out to the mat. Breathe in to the cobra, breathe out to the mat. Breathe in to downward facing dog. Breathe out up to your hands. Breathe in to your knees. Breathe out to your toes. And then breathe in to the sky. Okay, so 
Got it? So I am not going to give you the prompts. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to feel it with you. Really focus on your breath. Nice and slow. The movements are natural. You should know the routine. And just focus on your breath and how pleasing the movement is as the breath and the movement kind of become one. Ready? Okay, so one thing that I noticed, and I really tried to focus on, you can do the same thing, is when I was giving you the prompts about breathing in and out, uh, it was kind of just too arbitrary. It might not have been at the rhythm that you breathe in and out. So what I'd like you to do is go on your own. You, As your breath slows down, you can slow down your movements. Okay, so you are totally in control of it. All right, you don't have to go with me. You can go slower, you can go faster. It depends on your breath, depends on how slow you breathe in, how slow you breathe out, how much you hold the uh, movement, okay? So you're on your own, do one more. Okay, so I hope that was pleasant to you. It was really good for me. Um, what I noticed is that in doing that, my inhalation and exhalations got very slow. So I don't know how long it took me to do that rotation. Could have taken me a minute and a half or more. So you are in control, definitely, of the speed of which you go ahead and do the sun salutation. All right, so we're going to stop. Uh, hopefully you went outside and you practiced for a whole number of minutes. So we're not going to go ahead and do a mindfulness sit. That'll be enough for today. I hope you go ahead and practice. You can do this every day. You don't have to do this just when there's gym class. Go ahead and practice that jump rope basketball throwing. All right, that'd be fun. Go ahead and practice and uh, do some maintenance on the push-up sit-ups. Um, those two specifically... And if you want to go ahead and do a little cardio, do the mountain climbers and burpees, that'd be great. Okay, so we're good for today and I will see you next time.